Located 260 kilometers southeast of Izmir, Pamukkale has been a popular health spa for thousands of years and continues to be amongst Turkey's most popular resorts today. Set on a plateau above the broad, fertile valley of a Meander River tributary, the resort boasts hot calcium-laden waters that burst from the earth at a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. Cooling as they travel through the many pools and channels, the waters finally cascade down a steep hillside, depositing their gleaming white calcium as travertines, or calcium rock formations. These fanciful shapes of pure white rock have earned Pamukkale its Turkish name, which means cotton castle. The Romans valued the health-giving properties of these waters and came by the thousands to relax and recuperate. They built the classical city of Hieropolis among the hot springs to accommodate visitors. Many of those who came were in poor health and hoped to be restored. but the city's huge necropolis tells a different story. It's the largest ancient cemetery in Anatolia, with some 1,200 graves. Among those buried here is the Apostle Philip, who was martyred at Hieropolis during the first century. Among Pamukkale's favorite sites is the sacred pool, littered with the drums of marble columns. This may have been the center of religious observances connected with the nearby Temple of Apollo. The 20,000-seat Roman theater of Hieropolis is decorated with fine reliefs recently restored, showing events in the life of Emperor Septimius Severus and the god of revelry, Dionysus. The city's large Roman bath has been restored and is now used as an archaeological museum, holding many interesting artifacts discovered in the area. Across from the museum, the remains of a grand colonnaded Roman avenue stretch for more than a kilometre. Down in the valley, beneath Pamukkale, lies the ruins of Laodicea, home to one of the biblical seven churches of the Revelation. The city was a textile, trade and banking centre in ancient times. Archaeologists have discovered a stadium, a water tower, a gymnasium and bath complex, an Odeon, a Nymphium, a large Hellenistic theatre, a small Roman theatre and some fragmentary remnants of the city walls. Aphrodisius, lying farther west along the Meander River Valley, was dedicated to Aphrodite, the goddess of love. People first settled here in the Bronze Age. The city itself was founded in the 5th century BC and soon came to be known for its shrine to Aphrodite, an Ionic temple of 40 columns. Perhaps because there were beds of fine Korean marble nearby, Aphrodisius became an artistic center with a famous school of sculpture. Graduates of the school spread throughout the Roman Empire. Their names appear on statues found in Italy, Greece, Anatolia and other Roman lands. Besides its beautiful statues, Aphrodisius is noted for its fine buildings, including a small theatre built of pure marble during the Hellenistic period, and the best preserved stadium in all of Anatolia. With only minimal repair, the 262 metre long, 30,000 seat stadium could be used for races, contests and gladiatorial combat, just as it was in ancient times.
The tetrapylon is a monumental gateway built in the 2nd century AD during the reign of the Emperor Hadrian. It is thought to have marked the intersection of a major street with the sacred way to the Temple of Aphrodite. When Christianity came to Aphrodisias in the 4th century, the Temple of Aphrodite was converted to a church. The people of the city were so attached to their traditional goddess that it took a long time before the new religion was fully accepted. Eventually, this city was the seat of an archbishop and later of the metropolitan of the province of Caria. But even today, some visitors hope to feel the influence of the goddess of love. <laughs>